Scorpio, hi. We're going to do a quick reading for you guys, a little surprise reading. Yesterday I did the air signs, today I'm doing water signs. So this is a reading for you. It's not going to resonate with everyone. I wish it could. Just don't forget tonight, today is a big day. It's 8-8, eight, eight, Lionsgate Portal. Make sure you write down um, your intentions and, you know, what you want to manifest and tonight is a big night let me tell you because it's also a new moon so I mean there are videos all over YouTube about it so check it out and you know make sure you do that because if there's ever a time to do it tonight's the night to do it all right let's get started Holy Spirit angel spirits and guides what's going on with Scorpio please First card, recent past. Second card, present. Third card, near future, please. Thank you. Recent past. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So in the recent past, you were happy, you were stable, you had everything together, no worries, no wants, no needs, right? What's going on in the present for Scorpio? What's going on in the present? Thank you. Scorpio. Seeing things super clearly. Happiness. Joy. You might be doing really well right now, Scorpio, for those I'm reading for. And what about the near future, please, for Scorpio? Whoops, too many. Near future for Scorpio, please. Thank you. Well, we have two. <clears throat> A choice is going to be uh, made, Scorpio. And you're really in your... Um, I want to say you're really in your thoughts, but I'm feeling like... You know, I feel like this choice is something that's been weighing you down some. I feel like um, you're not sure still what this choice should be. One way um, you're afraid is really going to knock you down for good. And the other way you're just unsure of. Whatever this choice is, underneath the deck we do have the tower. So, you know, I feel like this tower... If you don't make the proper choice or if you don't make the choice that's good for you, this tower is going to make the choice for you. This tower will fall in the near future. Um, but let's pull some more cards and see. Why is the Queen of Pentacles in the recent past for Scorpio, please? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? I love that the sun is right in, in the middle for the present, though. Queen of Pentacles, please. Why is that there for Scorpio? Thank you. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups. One more card. Scorpio, please. Thank you. And we have the Nine of Cups. So yeah, I mean, this looks to me like one big happy family. This looks to me like everybody is, you know, happy everybody is doing their thing um it's just it's just an overall feeling of of security and uh stableness i guess you could say hold on one sec everything feels good everything was feeling great right clarify the sun please for scorpio why is the sun here for the present Why is the sun here? Thank you. Thank you. The sun for Scorpio. Thank you. Okay, so we have the seven of swords. We have the chariot. Cancerian energy. And we have the knight of wands. So this took a while for you to get to this point. 
I feel like the Seven of Swords is talking about your concern about keeping things the way they are. You still want to move forward and keep making things, you know, work the way they've been working. Um, I feel like sometimes you're back and forth uh, regarding if you're doing the right thing, if you're in the right place. Even though everything is stable, even though you seem very happy, I feel like there are times that you think to yourself, is this what I really want? I feel like there are just as much as you, again, are seem happy and content, and that's a big word, because being content doesn't mean being, uh, you know, overjoyed. And I feel like that's how you're feeling at times. Let's see, what else? Why is the Two of Wands here, please? Thank you. One more card. Why is the Two of Wands here? So I feel like this choice is whether or not, you know, you continue um, to stay in a situation where maybe things aren't as balanced as they appear, maybe things aren't as they appear. We have the Eight of Swords, so and then you're you're feeling stuck in the near future. You're you're unsure. There there isn't um, there isn't a give and take like a 50-50 mix. I'm feeling, and this is intuitive as well. And I'm surprised that. Let's see what else is here. Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, the Empress. I, you know, again, I fe just feel like that you're happy or you're content. And that's not good enough. You know what I mean? If that makes sense to you, well, let's get some more cards. Tell me more about Scorpio's situation here, please. Another card for Scorpio's situation, please. I mean, it's it's okay, and I feel like that's what you feel like. It, you know, I'm content. Is that always the best? For some. All right, I'm going to use a different deck. Scorpio, please. Tell me about Scorpio's situation. Thank you. Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands. I feel like you think things don't get completed. Like you have passions and they're just not, they're, they're never seen through to the end. Of, of what you want. The Ten of Cups in the reverse. The Knight of Wands. And the Queen of Wands. You know, I think, I feel like you have a lot of, a lot to offer and a lot riding on, you know, this lifestyle or whatever, but I still feel like you're wanting more, Scorpio. I feel like you're still wanting more. What else? This isn't going to resonate with everyone. That's for sure. This almost feels like a personal reading for somebody. Thank you. Ten of Wands. Yup. You're carrying a lot. You know, now looking at all the cards that are down, I'm feeling like people on the outside see one things one way when on the inside they're really not that way I feel like it's taken a lot of work out of you Scorpio to make sure things look this way on the outside what advice do you have for Scorpio please thank you Queen of Swords so regarding advice I feel like you should just um, cut things out, speak your truth, cut things out that aren't working for you. I mean, this, this queen looks like she's, she's got a plan for sure, right? 
she's got a plan you're not gonna let um, everything fall to the, the wayside right let's see what else yep you have to put some stuff to the to the curb you know you have to call it quits with some stuff it's if it's not working if you know if it's broken <laughs> Don't try to fix it as far as I'm concerned in this reading anyway. You know, this is something that you've been in your head over for some time. And you do have a decision to make. We have another two underneath the deck as well. And the four of coins underneath that. So I really feel like, you know, everything looks great from the outside looking in, but you're the one who's in the, on the inside and dealing with all of this. I feel like this could be a little bit of a confusing reading, but if this resonates with you, you'll understand everything I'm saying. Let me get another card. Spirit, give me one more card for advice for Scorpio. What should Scorpio do? Give me one more card. Advice for Scorpio, please. Regarding this. Those. Ace of Swords. Learn about everything. Get the truth about everything. Cut things out that don't serve you. Like I said before with this Queen of Swords, the Hanged Man. Make sure you try to see things differently. Make sure you try to look at different ways to make things work in your favor. Um, nothing is impossible and being content is great. But what if you could be content and super happy at the same time? because that's what you're looking for, right? That's what you that's what you want. That's what you're, you know, wanting. You you want it all. You want to feel happy again. So, go within and try to feel, you know, figure out maybe another way to put that passion into effect. And uh yeah, that's it, Scorpio. I love you guys. I hope this made sense. <laughs> it did to me anyway. And um, I'm sure it does to somebody else as well. It did feel like a personal read though. I will talk to you guys very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.